like and subscribe now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. <laughs> <laughs> Airplanes have completely changed traveling as they transcend borders and can take you almost anywhere. Yes, even North Korea. There are regular sized planes used for everyday air travel and then there are planes that rule the airspace with their gigantic size. From twin shaped aircraft to the heaviest plane ever built. Let's have a look at 10 of the most abnormally large planes ever built. Number 10, Boeing 747 Dreamliner. In the 2000s, Boeing found that it needed a cargo plane with an enormous amount of storage to transport components for the 787 Dreamliner, which has parts made all over the world. The solution was to take its biggest plane, the 747, and build a custom cargo hold around it. At 65,000 cubic feet, the Dreamliner is the largest cargo hold in the world, capable of carrying three times the volume of a 747-400F freighter, which, if you don't know, is a pretty big deal. The four Dreamliners Boeing made also used the longest cargo loader in the world and can haul a payload up to 125 tons. The first 747 large cargo freighter, or LCF, was rolled out of the hangar at Taipei Toyon International Airport on August 17, 2006. It successfully completed its first test flight on September 9, 2006 from this airport. Number 9. Strata Launch Strata Launch has yet to make a regular appearance in the sky, so we cannot say it dominates the skies just yet, but it certainly is a monster plane. The composite six-engine twin fuselage aircraft designed and built by Scaled Composites has the longest wingspan in the world, 385 feet from tip to tip. If you placed strata launch on a football field, the wings would extend through the goalposts an extra 12.5 feet on both sides. How crazy is that? The aircraft is designed to carry rockets up into the stratosphere and drop them, where they would then launch into space. The alternative to conventional rocket launches could conserve some of the fuel needed to overcome all of Earth's gravity from sea level and to orbit and launch smaller rockets at a rapid pace. Strata Launch could carry as many as three small launch vehicles at a time. After a two year delay from its first flight, the Strata Launch flew again in April of 2021. This is definitely a plane to keep an eye on in the future. Number 8 Super Guppy The Aerospace Line Super Guppy is aptly named. It's a large, wide bodied cargo aircraft that is used for hauling outsized cargo components. Guppy was the successor to the pregnant guppy, the first of the guppy aircraft produced by aerospace lines. Five were built in two variants, both of which were colloquially referred to as the Super Guppy. The Super Guppy is a monster. The bloated aircraft has been retired by every institution in the world except one, NASA. The US Space Agency finds the Guppy's wide dimensions perfect for transporting spacecraft and rocket components, and it is perfect for it. The first Super Guppy was constructed from a ballooned fuselage taken from a Boeing C-97 Strato freighter, taking to the skies in 1965, the turboprop cargo plane was primarily replaced by the Airbus Beluga for large and awkwardly shaped cargo delivery. But as long as NASA still has a use for the Super Guppy, it will continue to baffle people. The Super Guppy is the only airplane in the world capable of carrying a complete SIVB stage the third stage in the Saturn V rocket. The Super Guppy performed this role several times during the Apollo program. Number 7. Anatonov An-124 Ruslan First from the series on Anatonov, this monster was designed and built by the Anatonov Design Bureau in the Ukrainian SSR. The AN-124 Ruslan, which the Russian Air Force operates, is the largest military aircraft in the world. For almost 30 years after its introduction in 1984, the AN-124 was the largest and heaviest cargo aircraft in the world other than the single AN-225. The 747-8F overtook the AN-124 in 2011, with a reported payload capacity of 165 tons, the AN-124 can haul even more than the C-5 Galaxy, though its range is not as long. A surviving engineering triumph of the Soviets, the AN-124 continues to fly airlifting missions for Russia. The AN-124 is in service with the Russian Air Force as well as several cargo operations who use it to move particularly heavy and oversized cargo. For example, 
In support of the American and European space programs from the outside, the AN-124 is similar to the American Lockheed G-5 Galaxy, having a double fuselage to allow for a rear cargo door that can open in flight without affecting structural integrity. It is one of our favorite aircrafts on this list. Number 6. Hughes H-4 Hercules You probably know the Hughes H-4 Hercules better by its next name, the Spruce Goose. Designed by famed aviator Howard Hughes, this massive aircraft was built during World War II. The Hughes H-4 was one of the largest aircrafts ever built, but never moved beyond the one prototype version. It is a flying boat transport. Even more impressively, it was built almost completely from wood, powered by eight engines. This beast was designed to carry two tanks of around 75 tons of cargo. Sure, it never entered operational service, but because it did fly, it still holds the record for the largest wingspan at 320 feet. So, we think it deserves the sixth spot on our list. The plane remains preserved and on display in the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum in Oregon, USA. Number 5. Boeing 747 The Dreamlifter is already on the list, but it only represents a small part of the accomplishments of the Queen of the Skies. Over 1,500 Boeing 747s have been built serving as one of the world's largest passenger and cargo aircrafts. As a military command center in the sky, Air Force One, a space shuttle lifter and infrared telescope flyer for NASA, and Iron Maiden even has one called Ed Force One. The aircraft is being phased out of airlines in favor of single aisle designs that can now fly with enough range to cross the oceans. But as the only US mass manufactured four engine jumbo jet, the Boeing 747 has has some years in it yet. Number 4. The McDonnell Douglas KC-10 Extender the largest fuel capacity tanker aircraft in the world entered service in 1981. The KC-10 Extender has a total fuel capacity of 52,250 gallons, or over 175 tons of fuel. It was designed to provide a more capable tanker than the Boeing KC-135, which was about 25 years old at that point. The Air Force has acquired a new tanker called the Boeing KC-46 Pegasus, which is more efficient and has more advanced avionics than the KC-10 but the extender still has the Pegasus beat on fuel capacity by about 70 tons. The KC-10 stores jet fuel in three main wing tanks, as well as large fuel tanks under the cargo floor. It can alternatively be flown with a crew of 75 and 73 tons of cargo, or 85 tons of cargo in an all-cargo configuration. Number 3. Airbus Beluga The Airbus A300-600 super transporter, commonly called the Beluga, was designed specifically to transport large and awkward aircraft parts. Similar to the Dreamlifter, for us, it is one of the cutest transport vehicles out there. It received the official name of Super Transporter early on. However, the name Beluga, the whale it resembles, gained popularity and has since been officially adopted. Entering service in 1995, the aircraft largely replaced the Super Guppy, serving European needs for large air cargo. Airbus engineers designed and built different parts of the aircraft across Europe in countries including the UK, Germany, France, and Spain. It's 120 24-foot-long payload bay can carry almost 52 tons. It's very slightly shorter and narrower than the Beluga XL and can't carry as heavy of a payload. Number 2. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress The B-52 entered service in 1955 and the B-52H debuted in 1961, and it completely stunned the world. The B-52 bomber is the grandfather of the Air Force aging, but still capable of delivering a serious punch. The buff, big ugly fat effort can carry 70,000 pounds of weapons, from precision guided conventional bombs to nuclear warheads. While the B-2 stealth bomber and B-1 supersonic bomber could be retired when the B-21 was introduced, the Air Force wants to outfit the reliable B-52 with new engines to improve efficiency and range. While the giant bomber enters its sixth decade of service, the technology within its holds is ever evolving, and the Air Force is also planning to equip the B-52 with a long-range standoff missile, a stealthy nuclear cruise missile. The bigger the better. Number 1. Anatonov AN-225 Mira 
By most metrics, the Anatonov AN225 is the biggest plane in the world. The Anatonov Design Bureau and Ukrainian SSR built just one of these monster cargo aircraft. Anatonov designed it to carry the Buran space plane, the Soviet version of the space shuttle, as well as Energia rocket boosters. But the plane quickly found other airlifting work after being refurbished following the collapse of the Soviet space program. The AN225 is the heaviest aircraft ever built with a maximum takeoff weight of 710 tons. It holds the record for total airlifted payload at 559,580 pounds, as well as airlifted single item payload at 418,830 pounds. It has the longest wingspan of any plane, currently flying at 290 feet, and six freaking engines. This is our list of 10 largest types of transport planes in the world. Which one would you want to use? Tell us in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.